Thanks, Glenn. The National Guard's 1161st Transportation Company left Ephrata to spend the day in the Moses Lake sand dunes. It wasn't all fun and games, though. Some of it was training. Here with the story is Spencer Graham. A military vehicle training course was performed at the Moses Lake Sand Dunes on Saturday for the National Guard's Ephrata based 1161st Transportation Company. Uh, today uh, we are finishing up a, a training program that we're doing. The, the first part is all in classroom, so they get the classroom instruction. So out here, what we're doing is the hands-on part of the training, so the soldier actually gets to take theory and put it in a practical application. And when we get done, they'll have a license to operate this piece of equipment, which is a pelletized load system. The soldiers showcase their abilities by testing a number of military vehicles in off-road conditions. The training involved traversing the rough terrain in military vehicles and the process of loading and unloading cargo using the palletized load system vehicles. Uh, this is the PLS, which is called with the palletized load system. and actually is designed by the Army to a one-man operation to actually offload and unload cargo that we could put on a crop, which is a platform with an A-frame. And that, the PLS is also designed to drop off that cargo take off, leave the cargo there, have somebody come pick it up later, and then we can pick up the cargo um, or an empty platform at a later time. Cur currently the, the terrain that, you know, this vehicle could be used as snow, dirt, sand, uh, the highway, uh, unpaved roads. That, that's what it's designed for. The system has a, a system called the CTIS, which deflates the tire to allow it to, new, to go in sand, to go in snow and uh, be able to transport uh, uh, supplies to uh, maneuver units uh, in, in different areas of where they operate. The Grant County Sheriff's off-road vehicle deputies assisted the trainees and promoted off-road vehicle safety. Uh, I'm actually very happy that, you know, uh, Moses Lake, well actually Grant County Sheriff allowed us to utilize this area for training. Um, we've been looking to, you know, to, to work coming out here to expose ourselves to the local community and uh, we we're finally get uh, you know Deputy Richard Char to help us to secure this area to allow us to you know allow the soldiers to conduct their training out here. Onlookers were allowed to ride along with the drivers to get a first-hand experience of some of the real off-road action. Why we picked the dunes is because the soldiers wanted to come to the dunes and play, and so we tried to make them happy, brought them out the dunes to play. The National Guard plans to have more of these training events in the future. We're, we do plan to come out here more often to get more exposure to let uh, the, the community of Moses Lake and uh, Euphrata and this area know uh, what we do as far, as far as our response for the state of Washington. The National Guard hoped to attract new recruits and found it was a great way to display the military's drivers and advanced equipment. For iFiber One News, this is Spencer Graham reporting. Thanks, Spencer. We'll be back right after this.